right, so today's recipe is very interesting. And I'm actually not certain if this is or is not a recipe from my memory. Let me explain. I went to this really awesome Tibetan restaurant. Um, I can't remember what city I was in. It was here in the States, but I will never forget eating this dessert and thinking, oh my goodness, this is so good. I want to have this again. And I've never seen it again, never had it again. Can't remember the name. Can't even remember it clearly. But I remember that it was um, like a cheesy ball in a creamy sauce. So I looked up Tibetan cheesy ball creamy sauce. I found a recipe called raspari. Here's the interesting thing. When I'm this uncertain, I would look for many recipes of, of whatever I chose. So I chose raspari. So I looked for more recipes. Couldn't find any. I looked all over the internet, looked all over YouTube, copied and pasted the Tibetan script. Could only find one recipe that actually makes these cheese balls in a cream sauce. Other recipes make these cheese balls, calls it raspari, but the sauce is like a clear sugar syrup sauce and that's not what I want. Since I'm so uncertain if I'll even like this dish or if I've ever had it or what I'm doing because it's a written recipe and it's written kind of, there's like holes in the recipe. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Due to all of those factors, I am making a quarter recipe. So I copied it down on this lovely little post-it note and I cut everything into a quarter so that I, you know, I, it's probably gonna be a very small amount, but that's probably the safest bet. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, cool, let's get going. flour until I got to this consistency. I'm going to try to roll it into balls. tester. They're the consistency of cookie dough, but I don't want them falling flat like cookies. So I'm going to cook one, see what happens. If it's super flat, I'll just keep adding flour, even though at this point I think I've tripled the flour. All right, so there are four minutes left. Um, I just want to check out how it looks. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. This is this recipe is so unknown, so I'm okay with that. So I reform these a little bit. They're rounder looking. Um, I just put flour on my hands to get them like that. I'm gonna put them in this buttered dish, and even though they're coming out a bit dome-like and flat, we're just gonna make it work. We're gonna eat them anyway. <laughs> of my tester. I just put that whole pan, other pan, into the oven and it cooked for 17 minutes. It's quite solid. Cool. A little golden brown on the bottom. Little raspberry. Yay! So while I cook my raspberry in batches, by the way, when I finish I'm just gonna put them, I'm gonna be putting them all in this bowl because this is gonna go in the fridge and they're pretty firm so I think I can pile them on. Um, while the rest of them are cooking, I'm going to start the sauce, so let's get going. Mm -hmm. 
is supposed to thicken and not boil and I'm just this recipe is so confusing because it's like what is going to make it thicken I if I want like water to evaporate out of it and if I want to reduce it then I definitely need to boil it but I know cream like it's not gonna be good if you boil it it's gonna scald or make a skin or whatever this is from my very basic knowledge so this recipe is kind of driving me crazy <sighs> it'll all be worth it so I reread the recipe and it does say to let it simmer. So I think that simmering is what's going to make it thick. And over here we're going to be putting it in a bowl before we put it in the fridge. And the last two additions are almonds and rose water. So I'm just going to put those in the bowl now so that it's all good to go. The mixture has become quite yellow. It's really beautiful and it is a bit thicker and I think when this all cools it it will thicken even more. So now I'm just waiting for the rest of my little cheese balls come out of the oven. Amazing. I wish I could drink it. Oh my goodness, the almond, saffron, cardamom, and what's the other thing? Rose water. It's just a crazy fragrant combination. I'm really excited about this. But I don't think it's what I had at the restaurant. <laughs> it's like a totally different dish, but it's fine. It's going to be good. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> this is crazy. So these have been in the fridge for a while, but I just keep thinking about them and all the things like that just don't seem quite right. And um, I think I'm gonna pour the sauce on while they refrigerate. I think, I think that's the whole point is that they soak in the fridge. And I had kept them separate because that was how I read the recipe. I reread it and I was like, nope. <laughs> Yeah, not the highest hopes, but we will see tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Hello! All right. Are you ready? I think so. So, we have our little cold yellow. They got really yellow overnight. So I was trying to recreate something and kind of part way through, I was like, I don't think this is what I had. <laughs> but it's from a Tibetan recipe book mm. I found online. And it said they're called raspari. But I also found out that there's rasgulas, raspari, and ras malai. Three Tibetan, Nepali, Indian kind of desserts that are very similar. And all we get is raspberry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you already, it's, there's a possibility it might not even be edible. <laughs> a very interesting texture yeah it's it's hard though i, I was thinking it was soft yeah they're supposed to be soft oh, oh, sorry. i don't know I, I so i couldn't roll them mm. so i added a ton of flour mm, so it's very chewy but there's something this consistency is like okay it's um, really yummy how do you describe this texture well to be honest with you it's it's surprising because it's not like fluffier air it's it's dense it's a little chewy, and because it's cold. No, it's not chewy. That's well, why I can't put my finger on. It's. I'm chewing a it's lot. It's like biting through. What is it like? Like thick, cold butter? No, not. Butter. No, no, no. Almond paste. It's like a paste. These are dense. I mean, for the size of that, it's yeah, pretty heavy. Like heavy. if you threw it at me right now, I would, I would wake up. It's almost like a porridge that was congealed. That's what it's like. It's, oh, you know what? It's cream of wheat that's that's cold. Gone, that's exactly what it is, sliced up. You've gone to another road. <laughs> but that's what it's like. Okay. Have you ever made cream of wheat? It's really thick. 
and it cools down to room temperature and you got like a slab of cream wheat that you can actually cut through. That's never happened to me actually. But oh. okay, let's move away from texture because I think we're probably terrifying everybody. Sorry. I like this weird texture, even though we were describing it as the worst things ever. Um, let's talk about the flavor. Oh, it's good. I, it's really I don't good. think the rose is overpowering. Oh no, not at all. The saffron's incredible. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. The dumplings and the sauce are both sweet, sweet. but it is not overpowering. The cream never fully thickened. It's liquidy, but it does coat them. Oh, is it cream? It's half and half. Oh, half and half. Yeah. yeah. The nuts, mm -hmm. I think, are essential. Mm -hmm. And I like that they soaked. Mm -hmm. They are uh, another texture that's hard to describe. They lost a little crunch, mm -hmm. but they added a, whole, a crunch overall. They're so good. That's true. I'll tell you what, this is a breakfast that will keep you going all morning long. You don't have long. to finish all of it. I really like it. I like it too, but it's 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 intense. I don't know if I'll finish mine. Yeah, maybe four would have been the right amount of things for hockey pucks. I had no pictures or videos to go off of. Um, the problem is, I told you there's three things of this like similar dessert. Mm. This is the only recipe I could find where you take ricotta cheese, you mix it with other stuff, and you bake it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Other recipes were so different. You, you, you'd make Fry. your own chenna. Oh, what's that? Like milk curds. Mm. Like basically ricotta cheese. And, mm. and you would boil it. Mm. I couldn't find a single recipe like this. So I had no pictures, no videos to base this off of. So therefore, just like no idea what this I This is real Emma. Hey, what were you going to say? I'm surprised at how little cheese I taste. I, if she hadn't told me all those cheeses were in there, I wouldn't have said there's any cheese in there. I'm not getting cheese you yeah, know, at yeah. all what would you guess i know i i'd be so fooled by this it's very smooth by the way it's not grainy it's a very it is like something you would slice it's all like tofu that's been really condensed and and then flavored it's like it absorbs all the flavors whatever this okay i want to show is. them something all right. okay this is kind of crazy but i want to show you the texture so i'm gonna like mm. smear it on this board <laughs> It looks horrible too. What are we doing? You can see it's oh, it comes right down into a. I don't know how to. Yeah. Wanna... All right, we've made this hideousness. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments. I mean, I really hope I didn't. Someone out there is gonna be like this. If you want, this to woman has if you're tired of your oatmeal recipe. and you want something exotic that goes in a bowl, this is it right here. It's beautiful too. It's nice yellow. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you soon. The old phrase that sticks to your ribs, that's how it feels. It's like if you're living in Nepal and you're gonna climb a mountain, that's what you want. So is it meant to be yak butter? Mm -hmm.